I can have you take a, a moment to discuss the implications of a lipid core plaque versus a fibrous plaque. I mm -hmm. mean, isn't, isn't plaque a plaque? Well, what does it matter? Yeah. It's either narrowed or it's not. Does the composition of a plaque matter, whether it's heavily lipid-laden versus fibrous, and what are the implications of the composition? So one of the problems in the past to answer that question is there was not an easy way to tell a fibrotic plaque from a lipid core plaque. Now that the technology is advanced and it's possible to identify lipid core in living patients, it's turning out that having a lipid core is a bad thing for stenting. And it, yes, it, it, you know better as well as I do, I guess, with this manuscript you've just published, or we've just published, that if you've got a lipid core at a stenosis, and the stenosis is dilated, that is much more likely to cause a peristenting MI than if you have fibrotic. And then, of course, lipid core is now, we've got several cases where it's associated with stent thrombosis. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's involved in, in edge restenosis. So, I think it's fair to, to certainly state the hypothesis that most of the troubles is still associated with stenting, and they've been reduced. But what's the residual that's there? Uh, a great percentage of those, I think, probably, I would guess more than half, are associated with lipid cores. So which, lipid which, cores which, cause a lot of trouble. I mean, we, we went after lipid cores because we think they're vulnerable plaques killing people on tennis courts. But now that we've got the technology to find them, we are finding that they are causing trouble in stenting. The thinking at the present time is that plaque composition has important clinical implications. Number one, there's potential for vulnerable plaques that may cause events downstream that one may be able to impact. And two, for immediate and short-term outcomes in the cath lab. So let's, let's focus on those one at a time. So the immediate implications of lipid core plaque in a lesion that you're going to dilate and stent, uh, you've articulated number one, is that, that the more heavily lipid laden the plaque, the greater the risk that when a balloon and especially a stent is expanded into that lipid pool, some of that material may get cheese gratered and embolized downstream, clog up the microvasculature, in, in some cases resulting in abrupt no reflow and in uh, many other cases resulting in periprocedural infarction. Uh, and there is, is data which we'll talk about in a moment from, from both uh, intravascular ultrasound studies, VH studies, OCT studies, and now studies with near-infrared spectroscopy that, that in fact these lipid-laden plaques are the ones at greatest risk for that complication.